It's been a journey, boss. I find out so many things about myself in Japan and having to grow up. Like, man, I've made like so many mistakes. Like, way too many. I shouldn't be here, but I've been given the blessings by so many people to prove my worth and to work from being a boy to a man, bruv. Like, it's, it's crazy how life has turned out, but I've been screaming down the lens of a camera in Japan that I'm the best in the world. Pound for pound, no one's better than me. This is the place where all the elite boys are at, right? It's time to show everyone that I am the best wrestler in the world, pound for pound. There's no one better than me, man. No one. I'm ready, bro. Like, I just want to get out there. I just want to go for it. But for my mum, for my dad, my missus, my stepson, every single person that has been in and around my life, man, this is for them. This is for them. Everyone, man. From the British Independence to New Japan Pro Wrestling to All Elite Wrestling. All those chapters are closed, but this is a brand new one that's about to start. Enjoy it, mate. Enjoy it. We are spoiled as professional wrestling broadcasters. We are spoiled as professional wrestling fans. This has been an incredible event thus far, and yet we still have this. in because this is a great match. We're going to see some great things, but Kevin, you called the match. It was that DDT on the top exposed turnbuckle in the match at Wrestle Kingdom that really changed the complexion of that first match they had earlier this year. That ripped the wound wide open, of course, on the head of, of Will Ospreay, and that turned things around. It got nasty at that point. It was very personal. Ospreay feels he needs to beat Omega. Felt going in that he needed to show the world. Kevin, I want to draw the attention to the Osprey chants ringing out here in the Scotiabank Arena. There is a large contingent of fans that traveled from the United States and elsewhere to be here in Toronto tonight. And apparently they are in support of the challenger. 
but then again, yeah, the same fans, Tony, are yeah. also cheering for Kenny Omega. Well, I think they, they appreciate and respect both these men, and they love to see this. They're, all the fans realize what they're watching right now. Two of the greats in the world going. Yeah, I think the one thing that everybody can agree on is that Don Callis is a skunk. Side headlock takeover, head scissors, kick in. No, 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 no kick out. Tight head scissors locked in. There are some slick transitions back and forth. Here's a chance we can all get behind. As Omega with Osprey. Caught in the head scissors, Osprey. Elevates into the headstand. Got a little too fancy. Omega made him pay. Of course, all during the pandemic, those wrestlers from foreign countries who stayed in Japan were basically in prison. And I mean that nicely. First class accommodations, of course, but you couldn't leave the country. Right. And Osprey felt like he needed to stay in Japan to carry the company on his back and shoulders. Then there was a lack of appreciation. So he felt, and a lot of the people said, well, you're not Kenny Omega. And he needed to kind of exercise that demon. Well, and that's that's an important point, because when Kenny Omega left New Japan Pro Wrestling, he left very big shoes to fill, shoes that Will Ospreay stepped into and perhaps buckled under the pressure at Wrestle Kingdom of trying to be something that he was not. Four years removed, right? Yes, sir. Looking right by Omega, Omega. We're gonna hike up the green overalls. Omega cannot escape Will Ospreay. You can't escape. Oh, God. Omega, that cover, that deep hook, Ospreay. Omega, we're gonna terminate Will Ospreay. Oh, wait, Callis, oh, Don Callis grabbed the leg. Run that son of a bitch out of here. Get him out of here. Paul Turner didn't see it. Look who the security is for. It's not for Ospreay, it's for Callis. And the security guard stepping in between Kenny Omega. Oh no! Paul Turner did see it! There he is. He's ejected Callis from ringside. There you go. But is that enough for Kenny Omega? Is that enough for him to return his five oh, oh, to this match? This match continues. IWGP United States Heavyweight at Championship at stake, held under the rules of New Japan Pro Wrestling. Breaker by the challenger. Great execution. Lateral press by Osprey. Omega able to break free. And of course, Kenny Omega very familiar with wrestling under those New Japan rules, the IWGP sanctioning body. And the International Wrestling Grand Prix, the governing body of New Japan Pro Wrestling. As Osprey. Oh, that was a nasty thud. I thought when he went on the outside that Osprey would work on the knee, then he went to the bicep like you talked about, Kevin, and now working on the back here. So his strategy is kind of really all over the place here. And Omega over the top! Star Crusher, and let's see here. Oh, my oh, goodness. Kicked him so hard, he kicked him right up to his feet. The dunk by Omega after the kick to the ribs. Near leg hooked, Osprey. Osprey sends Omega balanced on the top rope. Yeah, here we go. Omega hung out to dry, and Osprey's going to look to capitalize. And he's trying to get out of this, but he cannot. Osprey, eyes locked on Omega. Shoot and star press to the spine. We've seen some great maneuvers and moves. I think that's the one of the night. Oh, watch this. Set up Oscutter. Oscutter but on the apron. Oh! Cutter connects. My God. Where's Osprey? Shots the ball. Headbutts. Connect. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Osprey wants to do to Omega. What Omega did to him, he yep. said, do you remember this? Jammed his head That's right through the table. Again. There is an evil look in Will Osprey's eyes. Yeah. I am. No, enough. <laughs> oh, Osprey biting the hand of Omega. And Osprey's gone. He has gone nuts. A third time. He just 
just will not let go what happened in Wrestle Kingdom. Savagery by Will Ospreay. But turnabout, perhaps fair play, Kevin. It's the motivator. It's what's driven Will Ospreay here. I am at a loss for words about the level of violence that just transpired inches from us. Oh, come on now. Osprey taking the cowl off our desk. That thing has got nails sticking out of it and everything now. Oh, my God. Oh, and and he's open. Oh, yep. Well, if there is any legal difficulties for Will Osprey, don't say he wasn't warned. That's shameful. This is absolutely shameful. Every bit of it. Kenny Omega. Obviously a very proud <laughs> Canadian. <laughs> and I would not want to be Will Ospreay going through customs this week. That's Kenny Omega. The Lariat perhaps opening the door. Giving him an opportunity to get back into this match. And defending his country's honor to boot. Omega. He has sensed. Maple Leaf Beal. Ah. Good call. And Omega not done yet. No. Oh, my God. Osprey being flung from pillar to post by the champion. This match is everything we thought it would be and even a lot more. No flag. Enough. Well, going to hang him out the dry here, guys. Whoa. Will Ospreay was the one that introduced the flag. And wrestling has now come full circle. Watch out. Head of steam. Oh, V-trigger. V-trigger against the barricade. Omega's momentum carrying him nearly over the top into the front row. That, I think that's the same knee that hit the steel steps about 10 minutes ago. Oh, wait a minute. This is a wooden table. These are steel steps. That Omega is trying to drive Will Ospreay's head clear through. The diamond plate steps constructed to prevent slipping embedded in their back, in their legs, in their arms. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on a second. He's got scars on Will's forehead. Yes, now. indeed. Yeah. There is a puddle of blood on the floor. And you can see the crimson mask being worn. Yep, there's a puddle of blood. Paul Turner checking the wound. As you see Will Ospreay's blood oh. painting the steel steps. Yeah, my God. And Paul looked over at Doc Sampson and said, OK, match continues. Please. But for how long? Oh, Lord. He I don't know what he's this. got in mind, but it's, it's not going to be good. Nope. Oh, no! no! Man, shades of Wrestle Kingdom. When that one hit on the top turnbuckle. Oh, that caught him. That was a good one. Bang! Oh! Spanish flag, cover to new champ. Oh! Just couldn't get the cover that he wanted. So close that time for Osprey. Look, he knows it. So close. Paul Turner's hand a centimeter from counting three. Listen to the fans just, they are just digging this, man. Well, another great champion from Canada. Titles and championships galore. One with this. The sharpshooter locked in. That might be the greatest surprise of all in a match where we've practically seen everything. Look how Will just dives right for the front side. And now the cross face. Notice how as they, the blood has flown, the later the match gets, they're going for the submissions on both ends here. Couldn't even, no, oh, Kenny just not, not the much here. You see Osprey oh, gritting the brother. teeth, absorbing the contact, and laying in a headbutt that drops Omega to his knees. Knowing that Omega was, was did not have much behind those blows, letting him just wear himself out. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. 
Axe Cutter. Here we go. And he knew it was coming, Will called for it, but Kenny scouted it well. Kenny needs to follow up with something here. He's pulling himself up as best he can. Osprey. There it is. Snap Dragon Osprey. We'll do it again. A second one. Osprey is such a tough athlete. Omega has to work double, triple hard to keep him down. And it was very nearly the triple Snap Dragon. Oh, the shot! And the poison rana! Got Will still on his feet. Osprey up to his feet, but not for long. Omega grabbed the trunks. He spiked him with the pile driver. Omega! Oh, oh man, he's changing his tack too. Oh, it's got nine, three, nine. oh my god. Osprey, oh! Kenny's hook, look how Kenny's hooking the rope. Oh, oh. Yeah, his head was trapped, and Osprey scored with the thrust kick. And while Omega and Osprey were battling in the ropes, the timekeeper's table signaled to Justin Roberts 30 minutes in this match have elapsed a time limit of 60. No, this is insanity! No! Sky Twister Press! From the top turnbuckle to the floor, and Will Ospreay is feeling that the IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship is once again in his grasp. Sounds the fans made the gas from that maneuver was incredible. Look how he gets up on the ropes quickly. He's getting a second win here. That's possible. Blind side shot. Omega slumped, prone. And the Hidden Blade could be forthcoming. Yeah, you can see it, man. He's almost calling for it. Here it comes. No! Omega baited it perfectly. Both men thinking high kick. Both men thinking lariat. Oh. Omega, no. Osprey. Counters. Liger bomb. And two. Yes! Oh! Omega. Carrying the weight of... Oh, no! All right, Paul Turner checking in. Hold on a second, look at this. He was thrown out of here. He was thrown out of here. Now, Don Callis, by doing this, is risking a disqualification for Will Ospreay. If he had any compassion, he might have a towel with him, and he might think about maybe throwing the towel in for Osprey. He has no compassion. There's none. Barking orders at Osprey. He's well, there's my favorite chant of the night. Squeezed up against the mat. Oh, that thud. It was a sickening thud. Kevin, this becomes a battle of wills. And I, oh, oh, no, no pun intended. No, I know. Son of his mind. The brutal reality of professional wrestling. From time to time, we see it, and we're living it right now. Oh my God! And you know that one was dedicated to Don Callis. Blood-soaked trucks up against the side of the head. Oh. On Kenny Omega's head. Oh, wait, 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 wait a second. Oh, for, this is, this is. Well, he's doing what he thinks he must do to protect his man from the beat trigger. What, what, Kenny's paused here now. Oh, man. He yeah. wants to do it. Oh, bang, the beat trigger. And, and look, Cal's trying to pull Osprey out of the ring. And John, John digging in the pocket. Yeah, he's not getting all of you. The screwdriver, he stabbed Kenny Omega with, and he's passed it to Osprey. Oh, no, oh, no, the referee's tied up. Oh, oh, my God. God. Osprey, he covered Omega's eyes, so he couldn't see it happening. And now, 
Kingdom for Will Ospreay, a night that he would never forget. And this will be a night that Kenny Omega will not soon forget. Neither will we, neither will the fans here watching on pay-per-view or here at the Scotiabank Center. Dr. Michael Sampson, our ringside physician, obviously concerned as Omega reaching towards that championship. 
but it is no longer his. Well, Denise, I'm Denise Salcedo in Steve's Culture. So I want to start off by asking you, given the high standard that you and Kenny Omega set in your last match, how did you feel heading into this match and how did you feel coming out of it? Uh, a lot of anxiety, I, I won't lie to you. Like, I don't feel like, uh, I told him this is this, um, but on the Tokyo Dome one, I've never felt like more in my life like the world's eyes were on me. I feel like after I said everything I needed to say to him at the press conference previously, I, I just felt like the world's eyes were on me and I'm not really used to that. Like, I'm like, obviously there's the best Super Juniors, there's the, the World Championship, but I, I honestly felt like for the first time the world's eyes were on me. Maybe I didn't cope with it very well, um, but coming into this one I had that same anxiety, that same like just pacing up and down my hotel room, kind of like a tiger in a zoo, eh? I just wanted to fucking chew on something. Um, but I was uh, heading out there, I, uh, I kind of had to embrace my inner Paul Robinson uh, and just kind of like, my mission was to fight 30,000 people and uh, I came out on top, eh? I will, uh, Lex Tan from Ringside Heat on uh, Saga 960 AM here in Toronto. And the uh, question is, uh, what do you feel uh, the next echelon of uh, the career that you're building for yourself uh, what is something that you feel like you want to prove next to the entire world? I don't know what echelon means. Oh, so the next level. And then what was the other bit about that? I was trying to work out what echelon oh, right, right. <laughs> uh, basically, uh, what, basically, what is the next level you want to get to? And uh, uh, is there anything more that you want to prove to yourself and to the entire world? Um, Man, uh, it's a difficult one. Uh, like, I normally just take every day as it comes when it comes to wrestling. Like, I take every New Japan tour as it comes. I take every opportunity to, like, uh, wrestle uh, anywhere and everywhere. Um, so, I guess the next level for me is just to, I don't know, I, I want that run. I think, like, everyone, especially when it comes to New Japan, for myself, I, I want that, like, run of just, like, everybody. Do you, do you remember, like, when there was times where, like, companies were a little bit on the downside, like for example when TNA was going down, yeah. you'd always be like, but at least they got AJ. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? They would always be like, the, like, like I want to be like that with New Japan. I want it to be like, it, even if there is like any rocky roads or anything along those lines, especially during that pandemic, it was the fuck, like, I can't tell you enough, I would not wish that upon anybody mm -hmm. at all. But like, I did that because I, I generally love my company, I really do. But I, I want that run, especially like, w with everything, how it looks, it is just, I, I wanna. I just wanna put on the best physical work that I, I can, and I, I, I'm very passionate to do it. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, I mean, I just I kind of want to throw this out there as well because it, uh, while the company, the conversation is on best in the world, um, I have taken um, so much from uh, a man that I completely respect and admire, uh, and I hold him to the highest regards. And uh, in September, he is celebrating his 25th anniversary of being a pro wrestler. And I've just got to say it now, uh, he was my idol growing up. Uh, I would love to be in the ring with Nanochi Marafuji, if that was possible. And the ball is in Noah's court. Um, I think we can work something out. Everything seems to be in order here. This is for the match coming up at Wembley Stadium on Sunday at All In. Chris Jericho, Sammy Guevara is joining him, of course. 
and Will Ospreay along with Don Callis. And ladies and gentlemen, we have extra security here, as you might imagine, because how volatile this situation has become. We have a pen for each man. If you will do the honors, Chris. Uh, Oi, Chris, are you actually taking this match seriously? Or is this some type of vanity project to say that your band performed in Wembley Stadium? Bruh, do you understand what Wembley Stadium is? It is the biggest venue in the entire of the UK. This match is going to change my life, bruv. I've got a missus at home and a four-year-old stepson. Hey, here's some news for you guys. The day before I wrestle Chris Jericho, I'm doing an indie. So I'm trying to get as much money together to put my kid through school. This match changes my life, bruv. After this, I shut up, pipe down, bruv. After this, after I beat you in the wrestling's biggest event, I am going to be the only man to say I've beaten Kenny Omega, Kazuchika Okada, and Chris Jericho in two months. And that, and that goes very well in six months' time because my contract comes up for New Japan Pro Wrestling. And who is not going to pay millions and millions of dollars for Will Ospreay? Because I know, I know I am the best wrestler in the world. I'm better than the elite. I'm better than Danielson. I'm better than Punk. I'm better than you. All your lineage, all your championships, all your legacy. I respect it all, mate. But all it is, is rocket fuel for me and my future. Yeah. Let's talk about your future, Will. No, actually, let's talk about your present. And congratulations to all the things you've accomplished in the last few months. But. I don't think you might have accomplished those things if it wasn't for me. Because five years ago, when the entire wrestling world and the pundits and the sheet writers and the Meltzers were all predicting that you were going to be in a wheelchair before you were 30 years old, like your hero, the Dynamite Kid, because you were so reckless, I called you. I got your number, and I cold called you, and I told you to tone it down. Because if you didn't, you'd never have the longevity of Chris Jericho, and you would never be what I knew you would be before anybody else, which is one of the top stars in this business. And hey, you listen to me, Will, and now here we are, Wembley Stadium. Jericho versus Osprey. And you didn't have to attack me from behind last week to get this match, Will, because this match has been in the works for years. This match was supposed to happen in 2021 at the Tokyo Dome before the lockdown, but there's no lockdown now. This is Wembley. This is the biggest show in pro wrestling history, which means it's the biggest show of my career. Almost 33 years. Don't tell me this is a vanity project for me. This is bigger than any WrestleMania. This is bigger than any Tokyo Dome. This is bigger than anything. This match means more to me than it does anybody else because you're coming at this from the bottom. I'm coming at this from the top of the effing mountain with everyone trying to knock me off and every hater and social media dipshit trying to keep my nose nice. Try to predict my demise. So that means I have to be the best Chris Jericho that I've ever been to beat you, Will Ospreay. But in return, you have to be the best Will Ospreay you've ever been to beat me. Yeah. And Chris Jericho so prove it to me, Ospreay. 
Prove it to your family at Wembley, sitting in the front row, your mother, your father, your missus, your four-year-old stepson that you got to put through school. Prove it to them in front of 80,000 of your countrymen that you could be Chris Jericho. And don't make me regret the fact I picked up the phone and called you five years ago. And don't make me regret that I kept you from being in a wheelchair before you. Oh, this is getting heated. Oh, wow. Jericho Jericho. just knocked him on his ass. Right. And Let's both men have right. signed. The match on, is official for this Sunday, all in London all right, Wembley Stadium. Shivani better get out of there. And for only the sixth time in history, they're going one on one. The first ever time in the UK. The first ever time on Will Ospreay's home turf. You can sense the anticipation, can't you? And what a weekend this is for this young man. A man who personifies what revolution pro wrestling is all about. A man who personifies those words, our motto, pro wrestling at its best. In 24 hours, he enters Wembley Stadium to go to war with Chris Jericho. But tonight, Tonight, Will Ospreay could not stay away from the biggest event in Revolution Pro Wrestling history. And in his mind and in his heart, this event is just as big. The last time they faced off just over one year ago in a block match in G1 Climax. It was Shingo who came out on top. And you just know Will wants to get that back. Oh, death grip on the handshake. Back elbow from Will Ospreay. Vicious sends Shingo off. It's Will off the ropes. Hurricane Rana snaps him down. And Will Ospreay takes him out. Lands on his feet as the crowd rise to theirs. The admiration and respect we have here in the UK for Will is immeasurable. The greatest wrestler of his generation, there simply is no argument. Shingo Takagi, someone who brings out the absolute best in Will. Both men on the outside, Shingo taking control here. Shingo hoists him up on the shoulders. Oh, and Osprey skull first off the apron. No, oh, big DDT spiked him on the floor. There's no protective mats on the outside, and you heard that sickening thud as their head came off the floor. Took the words right out of my mouth, Andy. That is just the cold, hard, unforgiving floor of the copper box. to position, square in the centre of the ring, textbook professional wrestling of the Shingo, who's happy to take his time in this one. There's some great Shingo Takagi matches in Revolution Pro Wrestling, one against the now undisputed British heavyweight champion Mike Loka, of course a great match against uh, Will Ospreay's United Empire running buddy, Carl Fletcher. It's a nice clothesline there for Takagi, Takagi hits those ropes, swing and a miss. Pops him up! Samoan drop, and Will Ospreay immediately grabbing the back of his neck. Effortless from Takagi. And Will to his knees now. Looking in the eyes of one of his greatest rivals. My God, double chop. Going for that Saito suplex, Will hammering down. Oh, stiff line to the back. Will loses him as a wall, runs off and securely. Will sends him off. Shingo switches, handspring. Will Osprey, cuts through, kick. And 
just like that, Will Ospreay can turn the match around. Ospreay. Phenomenal forearm. You look at the great names that compete in Revolution Pro Wrestling, many of them against Will Ospreay, like the phenomenal AJ Styles. It was after that contest with Styles, but Ospreay started utilizing that phenomenal forearm. And you're going to see that a lot in Will Ospreay. He picks up traits of his opponents, like superpowers, and that's why he's so good. That's why he's the best wrestler in the world. He's had so many torches passed to him, and he puts them to good use. My God! Oh no, he got called. He fainted him. He fainted him. That snap DDT again, again targeting the neck of Absolutely. The toll that it's taken on their bodies, just to be able to say they're the best in their battles oh over the IWGP World Championship. And Ali Oop there from Shingo turning Will Ospreay inside out. Just when it looked like Ospreay was starting to build some momentum, Shingo cut it off, and you saw the way Shingo looked at Gidgeon. Gidgeon's had his share of problems with LIJ. Oh, my! Wheelbarrow suplex there, straight into the buckle. Underneath that Paggio is a steel hook, and it doesn't matter. It's a thin piece of padding. When you go in to look, Gideon's concerned. You can see the look of concern on Gideon, because that's his meal ticket right there, no doubt. And if the head and neck hadn't taken enough punishment, Shingo's got some more in mind from the top. Huge superplex! And you can see the look of pain across the face of Osprey as Shingo Takagi hooks a leg and Osprey kicks out. And the thing that worries me, I didn't think that was going to be over there, Gio, but I thought the kick out might be stronger. And that's concerning. That's concerning because you know that Shingo Takagi is going to feel that. And you know when Takagi feels that, he's going to start to come in for the kill. And right now, he's trying to get the crowd on his side. And if you take the crowd out of it, you take away that home field advantage. And perhaps Takagi is going to make him pay. Because they're made in Japan. Will knows that move all too well. Oh. Oh, real back connected with a chop. Shingo invited him in. Osprey with a reversal. Stunned on Millionaire. Lifts him up, slams him down. The elevated reverse DDT, the cover. This time it's Shingo's turn to kick out. Certainly not, it's whoever has their hand Osprey's looking for it. Oh, no, they know each other so well. Caught him in the backside, drives him face first down to the canvas. Gory bomb, Osprey ate all of that. Face smashed into the canvas, courtesy of Shingo. Osprey through to his feet. Sit down, power bomb. And Takagi kicks out. And you see Takagi, who was a, almost a desperate kick out. He reached for the air. Oh, hang on. He's, uh, he's in the corner again. You saw him favoring a leg. Yeah, well, let's see. He's got to create some distance. Charges in and connects with a big boom. There's something to watch out for later on, but for now, it doesn't seem to be a concern. Cheeky Nando's can get that man a sponsorship. What on earth is it? Not a, sto a Stormbreaker, perhaps? From the top. Oh, and a vicious headbutt from the Dragon. Oh, no, they're just exchanging headbutts. Oh, my God. This is Skull against Skull. Oh, wow, what a combination. Oh, God. And Osprey falling to the apron. Definitely saw a flash there. Out. Takagi's got him, no Osprey steps across him. Nice agility from Osprey, like a cat. But Takagi puts him, pushes him off. Osprey cuts him with a cutter. He went for the Oz cutter, finds it. But how much damage has been done? Is this it? And Takagi kicks out. Me. Oh, 
breaks. Osprey through to his feet. Poison Rana spiked him right on his head. The athleticism from Osprey is something. Hang on. Takagi with one of his own. Spanish fly. Oh, using all Takagi's own momentum against him to connect with a Spanish fly, but Osprey's not done. Takagi found the counter. That blade wasn't so hidden. And there's a maze in Japan to Kano. And let's not forget the title ramifications here. Will Osprey the IWGP UK or US champion? Whichever way you want to look at it. And if Takagi gets a victory over Osprey here, surely he gets a shot at that championship gold. Osprey having to utilize these milliseconds to recover. He's looking for the last of the dragon. No! Osprey! He jumped up and got him! There's a stormer coming! Stormbreaker! Into the cover! Oh, Shingo kicked out! Shingo Takagi just kicked out of the Stormbreaker. And look at the look on the face of Will Ospreay. He can't believe it. He's hit him with an Oscar already. He hits him with a leap of faith. And now he's connected with a Stormbreaker and Takagi won't stay down. And the field advantage gone is gone as these people admire Takagi. Butting heads like a couple of rams. Two stubborn professional wrestlers going to war in the center of the ring in the main event of the 11 year anniversary show. That shocked Osprey. Vicious forearms. Osprey! Oh no, he ran straight into a hook kick! Hook kick! That caught him! What a combination! What is he about? No, Takagi threw to his feet, swinging a miss. He's gonna get him! Last of the dragon! Oh god, straight across the head and neck! Oh my goodness, Takagi! Osprey! I didn't pass anything. I'm a fucking loser. I didn't make it. 
Osprey's getting worked on. Code breaker! No. I think the reality's just seeped in. No way. No way. Yes way! Oh my god! Chris Jericho is in Revolution Pro Wrestling! 24 hours before the biggest event in British wrestling history. Chris Jericho is in a Revolution Pro Wrestling ring and he's wiped out. Is a fact. He's wiped out Will Ospreay. ago, Will Ospreay competing at the Revolution Pro 11th anniversary event, and then when he was addressing the crowd, a masked man hit the ring, hearkening back to the original All In. That night, in 2018, it was Chris Jericho attacking Kenny Omega. Last night, it was Jericho getting one over on Will Ospreay, making him feel the Judas effect. Jericho repeating history. The inaugural AEW champion. He has done it all. He's knelt at the altar of sports entertainment, taking communion. And Jericho sent in, shoulder tackle. Ospreay springs up to his feet. And you see that tremendous athleticism on that kip up by Ospreay. The agility of Will Ospreay is almost second to none. Well, both these men are heavy hitters. I shared a ring with Jericho, never Ospreay. I can tell you, Jericho's got heavy hands, I promise. Reversal there. Swing and a miss by Jericho. Oh, Ospreay coming in hot with the drop kick. Nicely done by Will. 
And now Osprey, you see the sense of urgency. World way up there, and he's blind on this. The sky twister, oh. press to the floor. Well, I think Chris caught a needle ahead on that. Osprey just crushed Chris Jericho. Maybe we can take another look here. The landing from Osprey was pretty incredible, but Osprey's moving on. He's not concerned about a replay. He wants to end this one quickly. The springboard to the oh, oh, wow. shot. The elbow strike, the cover. Two men. As, oh, he's looking for the hidden blade, but instead Jericho anticipated, able to counter out. Now the chop exchange. You can never sell Chris Jericho short. He has proved time and time again he can still compete with the very best in the world. Both men, same idea, boot to face. Both same effect, they get dropped. Taz earlier this year, Forbidden Door, Will Ospreay picked up the biggest victory of his AEW career. And he defeated Kenny Omega to win the IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship title. Ospreay now refers to the IWGP UK Heavyweight Championship. But Don Callis was in that corner that night, and he's back in Ospreay's corner tonight. Yeah, Don is dangerous. He's the mischievous nine, dangerous. you got to be careful for Chris. And these two now. I'm sorry, not sharing four off shims get there. Callis said the only thing better than having Jericho and his family was being the man to end him. Even though Jericho's got a, a plethora more experience, I just think this is Osprey's time. I think he wins this match. Osprey the hammer throws in Jericho across the ring. Bandera elevates Osprey. Oh, Osprey came down hard. Uh oh. Maybe tweaks that knee. Oh. Jericho caught him flush on the chin with the drop kick. I'm sure if Chris realized that he did tweak the knee. I spotted that also. I'm sure he did too, Nigel. Jericho. Certainly a veteran like Jericho. Oh, oh the man. Blind baseball drop kick. Blind for Osprey. He might be owed a money. Oh, Osprey puts the brakes back elbow into the jaw of Jericho. Now, again. Osprey could be taking Sky Twister again. But no, Jericho hammering on the spine. Osprey fighting out that, that attempt of a German suplex on that apron, which would definitely be a problem for Osprey if he eats this. There it is. Oh! Taz, you soft a lot with neck injuries in your career. You must wince when you saw that. I did. I literally closed my eyes because I knew this German was a hit and hard. Oh. This talk. I could tell by the explosivity of the hips of Chris Jericho and how low they were. It was nasty. And Osprey, you can see. Trying to get that numbness yeah. out. It's got some numbness in that right hand. We'll try and get it quickly. Trying to stun Osprey so he can hit the Hurricane Runner. Exactly right. Jericho got it. Now Jericho, the far leg hooked, and Osprey able to kick out. Taz Jericho, who's had so many battles with luchadors throughout his career. Jericho has faced every style, every competition you can in professional wrestling. Is what makes him such a dangerous competitor. And he was the first man to tell Will Osprey, oh, slow it down, tone down your style. My soul counter. Step ahead of being a student of the game, Osprey. Osprey now hanging Jericho out to dry on the top rope. Knee strike, Springboard over the shin or, or knee to the head, possibly. The aerial assassin takes flight, shooting star press. I guess not. The far leg hooked in. Whoa. Went to another level on my thought. <laughs> that made Don Callis a very happy man. Oh, watch that. I mean, just the athleticism of. Well, this man, Will Osprey, check this out. That is so difficult to do. The guy makes it look easy. He's a freak athlete, elite for sure, man. Jericho looking for the Os cutter. Or excuse me, Osprey looking for the Os cutter. Jericho had it scouted. Uh, Judas effect, code breaker. So smart by Jericho. One step ahead of Osprey there. A reversal, reversal, the reversal. Might get this. A second code breaker. Jericho makes the cover. Whoa. Osprey felt the sting of the Judas effect last night. Will that be the story here? No. Oh, the hook kick coming around the corner. And Oscar. Oh, That'll do it. Good night, Goat. Two. Jericho survives. And I'm so close. Now Osprey looking for Stormbreaker on Jericho. Osprey. No, Jericho. Oh, we're gone. Oh. Step over, he can! Osprey!
Ospreay has never been in a position like this. Kills your lower back. The lactic acid burst off and you glutes and your lower back. It's brutal the pain. The quads too, man. It's brutal this hole. And Jericho has Ospreay in the dead center of the ring. Ospreay trying to make the desperate crawl to the bottom rope, Nigel. He's getting close up by the set. Oh, Callis! The strong saving the Gafar! Gafar with the bat to the head of Osprey. Aubrey Edwards didn't see it. Osprey's out, guys. The ref never saw it exactly right. This is it. And I think that's what happened. Out for a second, but he's back. Barely. Yeah, you're right about yeah. that. Osprey trying to posture up. Firing right hands into the face of the Ocho from his back. And now Jericho firing down. Well, Jericho's got the leverage advantage there. You know, Osprey's on his back fighting up. Less power in the punch. But is Jericho fatigued at this point? Nigel, with the, the performance alongside Fozzie, the adrenaline of that, Jericho may be coming down right now before our eyes. Quite possibly. And that's not going to help things. Jericho wants to prove. Oh! Spanish fly cover! Jericho kicks out. What a Spanish fly. He ended up being in initially in an inverted cur uh, cradle if he would have just clasped his hands. I don't know why. It's easy to predict and say that from here, but man, there he comes. Oh, he got it. Code breaker. Code breaker, yeah. Osprey got stunned by that one. There's now Jericho. Oh! oh! An os cutter from Jericho. But a bit of an awkward landing. Will Osprey just miles away from his home in Reina Essex, fighting in front of his country and fighting to earn the biggest victory on the biggest stage of his career. Two of the greatest performers of their generation in the center of the ring. Oh! oh, 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 oh didn't see it. Wow, what a chance. She's, She's got an idea about it, though, but she can't call it. She never saw it. That's the Judas effect. Judas effect. Effectively ending the night for Will Ospreay. Jericho covers. And oh! Will Ospreay digging deep, finding reserves. Stunning. It just shows how important this match and trying to get a victory is against Jericho here in Wembley for Will Ospreay. Ospreay. Trapped in the walls, perhaps. No. Oh. Osprey turns things around. The pinning burden. Take him in and Jericho breaks free. Osprey floats over. Comes in. Bomb bombs. Oh. And now Jack Knife. Jack Knife got it. One, two, and oh. again Jericho breaks free. On that landing, Jericho's head whiplashed. Oh. Osprey was looking for a juice effect of his own. And oh! Combination Judas effect hit and blade, but whatever you want to call it, Jericho's up. Osprey has him. Storm breaker. Third time's a charm. Center of the ring. Whoa! Wow, it's a third time in the match. He went for it. He nails it. Osprey does it. It's not enough. This Jericho refusing to quit. The elbow pad is off though. Osprey. Sizing up Chris Jericho, sizing up the Ocho. And Jericho asking for it on the chin. Hit and blade! Osprey, the double underhook. He's got Jericho up again. A second storm breaker. That is most certainly going to be it.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's been such a spectacular night here in Los Angeles. Absolutely. And now it's time, as we talked about for the last couple of days of last week, our blockbuster contract signing here in All Elite Wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring in the newest member of All Elite Wrestling. It is all done. It is now official, Will. How does it feel, brother? Feel great. Wait, wait, what are you saying there? Are you good? Listen up. I'm happy to be part of the team, but I, I just need to give you guys a little bit of bad news quickly. I know, I know, let me just get out of the way. I am not gonna come in just yet. Listen, listen, I get it. Part down, bruv. All right. Listen, when I was 22 years old, I was a part of New Japan Pro Wrestling. I'm 30 years old now, bruv. I've committed myself for eight years, so I'm begging all of you guys, please let me finish up. And then... I'll be on the road to revolution, and I... And then I'll be all yours, but more importantly, I am all elite, bruv! Aye, aye, aye. Mr. Tony Khan, so do us a favor, line up the best that you got especially for Wembley Stadium, my man. Because everyone here knows I'm about to show them all. I will show you what a Lee really looks like, bruv. Well, Will Ospreay landing in AEW, and he has his sights set on August 25th, 2024, when AEW All In London returns to Wembley Stadium. And you can visit Ticketmaster.co.uk, AEW Wembley 2024, for free registration, which kicks off on Monday, November 27th. Tickets available December 1st, 9 a.m. Greenwich Mean Time. Will Ospreay demonstrative. He is all elite, as you heard him say. He is now all ours come revolution. Congratulations to Ospreay. Thank you so much for watching this video. This video is actually a re-upload with just some changes made to the images that New Japan Pro Wrestling struck us down for. So all of the images have been recreated by artists. So if you want to see the original video, then please go over to our Patreon, where we have the full thing uploaded in its full glory. There is a new video coming soon. This isn't the new video. This is just a re-upload. So keep a lookout for that. And... Uh, yeah, that's kind of it, really. Thank you so much, and thank you to all the patrons that are named on the screen. We appreciate you so much. It allows us to do what we're able to do, and I'll talk to you all soon.